Well, here I have a limit question. Uh, limit n approaches the infinity of n times this integral. Obviously, this is not an easy question. Now, let me first write this one as a the limit n approaches to infinity n times i sub n. So, uh, i sub n is uh, this integral. I can discuss separately. i n is equal to 0 to quarter pi tangent nth power x dx. Now this integral I can write as uh, from 0 to quarter pi uh, tangent n minus 2 x times uh, tangent square x dx, isn't it? Now then this one is equal to integral from 0 to quarter pi uh, tangent n minus 2x multiplied by secant square, right? Secant square x minus 1 dx, yeah. So this one is equal to integral from 0 to quarter pi. This one is a tangent n minus 2x. Uh, D. This one's the derivative of tangent right? minus the integral zero to quarter pi tangent n minus two x dx. Yeah. Now this integral is easy. Just power function, right? Something n minus two d something, which is equal to n minus one and the tangent n minus 1 from 0 to quarter pi. This one is just simply n uh, i n minus 2. Sort of a reduction formula. Now, this one is 1, right? This one is 0, therefore it's end up with uh, 1 over n minus 1 minus i n minus 2. Now this side is i n, right? This side is i n. Well, therefore, i n plus i n minus 2 is equal to 1 over n minus 1. That is a important result for our, for our further discussion. Now, what is i n? i n is this integral. What is i n minus 2? That will be this integral. Now, since, since uh, i n is less than i n minus 2 for x between 0 and a quarter pi. Why? Because when x is less than a quarter pi, the tangent is less than 1. Right? The For a number less than 1, the higher power is well less the result, right? This is the reason. When x between this interval, in this interval, this number is less than that because uh, the nth power and this n minus 2 power for a base for a base number is less than 1. So this is bigger than that, than this. It's obvious. And uh, therefore this number is... Uh, This is a n plus n minus 1 divided by 2. 
That is the the average. The average number between and the average number between these two must be lying between these two numbers. That's obvious. Okay. That's correct. Now, uh, what about n plus 2? That will be less. No. <laughs> I put this number, this, this, this plus this is the one over n minus 1. Therefore, i n is less 1 over n minus 1, isn't it? Dip, multiply 2. This is 2 here. Less than i n 2. This and that number is between this. And uh, this plus this is this. Therefore, this and that would be between this number. Now then we must then uh, I when n is n minus two, plus two n plus two will be less than one over two this n n plus two right so become n plus one i n right when n is uh, n plus two. So we have uh, this inequalities. Now then we multiply both every side, uh, every, everywhere by n. n is positive number. So n <coughs> uh, well, no. Let me put it this way. I n is less than this. I n is le greater than that. So I n is between this number and that number. One, two. Now let me say the same. I n is less than this. I n is greater than that. So I n is between these two. Then I multiply by n everywhere because n is a positive number. So it does not change the inequality sign. So n over 2 n plus 1 is less than n i n n to n minus 1, right? For this, we multiply n everywhere, you get this. So this i is not very, very clear. So that means i n i n is between these two numbers. What is n i? This is this. This is the limit we want. Therefore, the limit n approaches the infinitive and uh, n i n when n is both infinity that is half this is also half so this is a half okay thank you